My name is John Peterson, and this is the beginning of a series of short videos showing players how to adjust their own oboes using a minimum of tools and very little use of the feeler gauge. The feeler gauge takes a lot of practice to use well and a lot of sensitivity. It just takes a lot of time, so I try to avoid it as much as possible. I've tried to keep these videos short so you can find what you need easily. They're also arranged in sequence from the most critical adjustments to the least critical. You should be able to get your oboe to play quite well even if you skip the last two videos. So, to start with, first of all, you need an oboe that is basically in good condition. Um, what this means is that the pads are all sealing really well, um, at least reasonably well, and that the keys are all reasonably tight. If your oboe is not in that kind of condition, do yourself a favor and send it to a repair person to get it into that kind of condition first before you attempt to do any of these adjustments yourself. Okay, so what you will need, you will first need some feeler gauge. Uh, I make mine out of cigarette paper. This is the brand that I like the best, although it's sort of hard to find. To make it, you might possibly have used feeler gauges before made out of cigarette paper, and you notice that it is really flimsy and it is just sort of hard to get into where you want. So what I do is um, I actually tape the, the uh, feeler gauge material like this. I'm going to skip bits just to make uh, this efficient. Um, turn it over, also tape the other side. you would of course do this entire piece here. Then you take your ruler and your razor blade and you slice little sections of it. Like this. And then when you make the when you cut them off, cut them apart, you get little feeler gauges that look like this and that are a lot stiffer on this end and they are a lot easier to use. This now you can see that just goes right under there with a minimum of effort. Okay, you will also need a screwdriver. The screwdrivers that come in the Luray packages are, you know, you could use those, but really they're quite difficult. The diameter of the handle is very small, and it makes it so that you don't have very much control. And if you have a tight screw, it can you can slip and you can cause damage to the oboe. So the brand I prefer is Weha, W-I-H-A. Um, the tip is two and a half millimeters you can find it easily on the internet. The other thing that you'll need is a wedge of some sort for propping open keys like this to leave your fingers free for other jobs. This one is just made out of cardboard but you could make it out of whatever you want just a piece of paper folded up would be fine. So with these materials here that's all you need to adjust your oboe. 